Hey guys, it's E. Welcome to the best things in life with E. Please like and subscribe and comment if you like. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, so here are my ingredients for today. I have just some deveined peeled shrimp. It's already uh, thawed out. Some regular beef smoked sausage and my favorite Polk's Cajun style sausage. Some spaghetti and tomato basil garlic sauce and marinara sauce and onion and butter. I have a pot of water here for my spaghetti and I'm just turning it on. Before I actually start the water, I do put some salt into the water just so it could give the noodles a little bit of flavor. So here I'm just chopping my onion. Um, I'm not the best with knives um, or chopping onions and that knife was extremely dull. So anyway, I'm just chopping the onion into medium to small pieces and it's pretty much for the flavoring of the meat. Um, I'm gonna use it for my shrimp first and then I'm going to pretty much incorporate that into the sausage as well. And this helps with the flavor um, that adds to the pasta sauce. Um, I have a little technique I do that adds more flavor to the sauce that I love to do, but I will show you guys along the way, but yes. Just chop the onion into medium to small pieces. Again, nothing fancy. Um, as long as they're about the same amount or same pe size pieces, it should be fine. And just a reminder, um, this is keto spaghetti. Um, pretty much everything is the same as far as ingredients from the regular and the keto except the noodles. But everything that I have in here as far as ingredients is keto friendly. So here I have some extra virgin olive oil and I just put a little bit in a um, pan or a skillet. And this is for sauteing the shrimp. And first I add the onions the chopped onions and y'all this adds so much flavor to the sauce just something simple as chopping an onion and adding it to your sauce and here I'm adding the shrimp again they were already thawed and these shrimp are really good they're fresh um, and they're already deveined and peeled and the tail is off they're from Walmart as you can see um, I'm not shame in saying that I buy food from Walmart um, here is the butter and I'm using a teaspoon of the bu butter or tablespoon I believe it says and that is um, the cream butter that is actual real butter not margarine here I'm seasoning the shrimp garlic powder black pepper paprika and season all I don't put a ton but this Add so much flavor to the sauce. I have the heat on about medium high, um, and then later on I turn it down and I let it sit for about 10 minutes. So here I am just cutting up the sausage. This is the beef sausage, or it might be the poke sausage, um, but either one. The poke sausage, y'all, is really good if you haven't had it. Um, we love the Cajun style, and it has a nice little kick to it as far as spice. As you know, my daughter and I are obsessed with spicy food, so we love anything spicy. Um, but yeah, here I'm just chopping up both sausages and I'm just putting everything in a bowl 
and this is the regular sausage and actually this is my first time using this type of sausage i didn't feel like going to walmart because of the pandemic so i actually just went to my local grocery store and got the sausage and it was actually really good so i might start buying it um, i normally use the hillshire farm um, just a regular uh, sausage now i'm just checking on the shrimp and as you can see they're starting to cook um i believe i turned it down some because i wanted them to kind of cook slow um and i didn't want to overcook them so i am just stirring it around making sure everything's evenly cooked that's one thing about shrimp you have to constantly stir them because they will be overcooked in some spots and not others so as you can see my water is boiling and i am just putting my spaghetti in y'all this is just regular store spaghetti i don't use a specific type this is for the regular keto and i will show you guys later how i do the keto noodles um for the keto spaghetti so my sausage is i'm sorry my shrimp is actually done as done as i would like it um and what i'm going to do is actually put the shrimp into a little bowl um because i want to use the same juice that came from the butter and the shrimp and the onions to cook my sausage in so i'm going to put the shrimp into a bowl and then add my sausage in So as you can see, there is a, like a broth that um, the onions and the butter and the sauce, the shrimp made, which is what flavors the spaghetti sauce, y'all. It's so good. I'm adding the sausage, as you can see, and I'm just going to cook the sausage, kind of um, broil them, I guess that would be, into the sauce and just let them cook as well, just like I did the shrimp. so here i'm just stirring the sausage everything looks pretty much done it made a little bit more juice or broth if you want to call that call it that um and that's just going to add more flavor to the sauce and I'm going to turn that off. So here is my keto spaghetti. It's by Well Lean and has five calories, zero fat, two carbs, and two fiber. And y'all, this is really easy, literally. You're going to watch me just cut it open, rinse it out, and fry it. Just like the ingredient says. And they're called konjac noodles, um, but they are very good to me i mean i just open up the packet rinse them off and when i rinse them off i rinse them off very well i think that's a key to any keto type noodles or rice is rinsing them off very well um some people say they have a smell to them these don't another brand i used did 
and I rinse them off very thoroughly. Sometimes I use the little sprayer um, and I'll use my hands to make sure all of it's evenly rinsed off. But once you rinse them off for about a minute or so, they are good to go as far as cleaning whatever smell or stench it has. Again, I don't smell it on these noodles. So here I have a pan with butter in it, obviously, and I'm going to add my keto noodles into it. And this is the way I semi-cook slash flavor my keto noodles. Um, They're very bland and they don't have any type of flavor. So I just season it with a little bit of seasonal and black pepper. And then the butter does a lot of the work as well. And here I just stir it around occasionally for about, mm, three minutes or so um, and just make sure that they're pretty much done and you're actually gonna watch them change a little bit they're gonna start drying up which is okay because once they're in whatever sauce you want to use they're gonna swell back up like regular noodles and that's something I had to learn because I was so confused as to why they would just be so little and skinny once I warmed them up like the direction said but once they're in the sauce that they're supposed to be in they swell back up like regular noodles and you really can't tell the difference in taste or look um, as far as I'm concerned and my daughter is very picky and she loves them as well so that's a plus Open up. And here I am doing my sauce. One day I want to learn how to do real sauce, but that's the marinara sauce. And I'm just making sure as much of it that can get out is out. And then the other one I use is the tomato garlic or garlic basil, tomato garlic basil. And these two combine to actually get them on purpose because they, to me, have a great flavor. Sometimes I get the three meat as well. So I'm just adding the sausage and the sauce into the sauce, um, the tomato sauce. And I just stir it around and kind of let it heat up. Everything's done, of course, but you just need to heat it up. And I'm just adding just a little bit of water, shaking the bottle. I know everyone does this. And getting the excess sauce out of the jars. And I know some people are like probably thinking that's really watery sauce, but we like it like that. Um, I'm not a fan of thick sauce. So I'm just adding the shrimp in, of course, and the onions. And it's like heaven on earth. And I, you may have noticed just a little stick of butter. Um, I like to add extra butter. Um, it adds just a little bit more flavor. And it's all keto friendly, you guys. Um, if you use the sweet cream butter, it is keto friendly. So here is just a little shot of the noodles, the regular and the keto. The only difference is the color from what I can see. And it's pretty much done. Here is a shot of the regular noodles, the regular spaghetti noodles and the keto. Can't really tell a difference. Bye. Please like and subscribe and comment if you'd like. Thanks for watching.